very very special guest i have kl1993 this man if you don't know who he is he is just placed within the top eight um of worlds 2021 he's going to be telling you a lot more um, about what he's done but um to first off uh please introduce yourself welcome uh hi everyone so i'm kl1993 uh i'm french i'm from uh france and uh, like Jinzo and Tonic says, uh, I place in uh, top eight on the uh, World Championship. Uh, I played God for Mass since uh, 2018, uh, and uh, I did some uh, other tournaments. Uh, I was uh, second in the FLC five, uh, in top four in uh, FLC nine, and uh, first on uh, Obelisk two. Uh, which uh, was the tournament uh, uh, which allowed me to uh, make my way into the world. Amazing, amazing. So guys, as you've heard, KL is fairly new to the game, only playing GOAT format since um, 2018, and he's already topped major, major tournaments. The man does not mess around. Um, he has piloted probably my favorite deck of the format, and if I'm... if you can confirm, I believe it's uh, Panda Panda Burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since uh, I played it since uh, 2018. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, I was playing good, uh, good control. Uh, then I saw everybody was playing this, so I just thought, why not play something able to just kill Skip Goat, you know? Yeah, it was very, very cool. So I don't know if a lot of you might know this, but actually the top eight, I uh, was just speaking to KL before this, and he was telling me the top eight of the tournament, which was quite exciting, was um, four of them were Americans and four of them were from Europe, and it was quite, it was quite a nice little battle of the Americas and the Europe, and um, I believe that Europe came on top again this year, which is very exciting for us, or especially for me, but very well played to everyone in the tournament. Um, it was a very great turnout. But back to the question, I wanted to find out why did you choose this deck for the tournament, this Panda Burn deck? Um, I think it was uh, pretty much a no-brainer for me, you know, uh, this old format is uh, it's still good, the sound is still good. Uh, I, countered, uh, I countered you, I don't know if it's still good. Um, like I said, yeah, I think it was uh, pretty much a no-brainer for me because, um, you know, I think this whole format is about uh, being able to beat Trinity, Out of Grid, Graceful Charity, Delinquent Duo, and, uh, you know, when you took uh, this Trinity on turn zero, zero, like, you lose uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, and uh, and uh, you lose uh, rock paper scissors and you you, you are uh, in uh, three versus six cards because of open trinity uh, you need to have something able to recover and i think uh, panda burn is one of the few games able to steal a win if you if you uh, lose versus uh, if you are versus trinity I don't okay. know if you heard me, I can't hurt you, I, I'm not able to hurt you, I don't know if you can hurt me. I can, I can, perfect, we can, we can perfectly hear you. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, now just looking at your, just looking at your deck here, I, I want, I would like you to just um, talk about some choices. So for everyone that's new, um, coming to go format and seeing this deck, um, the main cards that would be seen, obviously, would be the Giant Rats, the Pandas, yes. uh, the Desk Koalas. But an interesting one that maybe a lot of people that are just joining the game might not understand why you've put in a Cypher Soldier. Can you just explain that? Yeah, uh, the Cypher Soldier is one, it was uh, a bit of a meta call, you know. Mm. Uh, I, I just thought, uh, what would be the most played deck? Uh, in the tournament, and uh, I just thought people would play a lot of 
of deck which uh, won uh, which won uh, the the other tournament the qualification tournament and i think the top two deck played and that was uh, the case i thought it would be either uh Chaos turbo and warrior because warrior took a lot of first place a lot of top eight in uh, several tournaments and uh, since i expect warrior to be a lot played uh, I thought it would be a good idea to main one Cypher Soldier in main, uh, knowing it's uh, an Earth monster, so it can be summoned by Giant Rat, uh, so it's, uh, it was a good synergy, and uh, I think it was a good meta call uh, uh, in this tournament. Yeah, I agree, I agree. So, yeah, Cypher Soldier, guys, as, as explained, is, is a very good meta call against Chaos Warrior decks. For the new players that uh, might not know, this is why this card is being played. Um, everything else I see in your deck seems to be very standard. Um, yeah. It's yeah. The the two level limits very standard. I see the ring of destruction, the magic cylinder, very very good. So I don't want to go too much about um, this deck profile, as guys, there are many deck profiles like this online. Um, Kale went for a very solid, strong strategy. Uh, didn't have to change much in the build except for the one spicy Cypher Soldier. So that's why I want to jump straight into the side deck. I see that you didn't main Delinquent Duo. Can you explain that? Yeah, I didn't main Del Delinquent Duo because um, it's uh, not really synergetic with, uh, with the main deck, you know? You lose LP, you, the opponent lose two cards which made the secret barrel. Uh, less uh, strong, the Descola less uh, less strong. Uh, the reason of why I mean uh, I side Delinquent Duo is because on uh, game two, on game three, uh, versus Chaos Turbo uh, on some other deck, I was used to smoke screen. Uh, you know, like get rid of all burn trap and uh, sending into uh, some. Um, how we, how we can call that um, aggro deck, maybe mm -hmm. aggro earth deck. Yeah, the aggro earth. Uh, and uh, you know, since on uh, game two and three, I wasn't worrying on uh, on burn traps. Uh, it was uh, normal to side uh, delinquent duo because I wasn't playing. Uh, I mean, on game two and three, I can still burn the opponent, you know, because I still I ring of destruction, magic cylinder, ceasefire. Uh, sometimes I keep uh, the Koala, but uh, since Burn is not uh, plan A like, uh, like in game 1, uh, Delinquent Duo can uh, find this place um, uh, from side uh, to main deck in uh, game 2 and game 3. So that's why I kept Delinquent Duo inside. I don't mean it, but I, don't, I didn't want to uh, to get rid from the side because uh, given how I play, it can still have uh, some uh, utility. Okay, okay. And I just wanted to find out, I I wanted to just confirm, I see that you have two Mobius the Frost Monarchs. Would that have, yeah. been, would that have been put in against um, Chaos Warriors, mainly? Um, usually, Mobius, uh, I said it uh, uh, because uh, of my uh, smoke screen strategy yeah. uh, versus uh, opposite decree. Uh, I can't side one versus Chaos Warrior. I can't side one. I'm not the biggest fan of siding them because usually versus Chaos Warrior, I'm staying into um, burn mode. Yes, okay. No versus Chaos Warrior. Gotcha. So. Um, uh, Tributing, you know, uh, a monster, uh, tributing something like a uh, Giantra, Panda, is not uh, not so good. Okay. I can't play it once sometimes, but um, I'm not the biggest fan. So, just going into your smokescreen strategy. So, for, yeah. new, for new players, uh, smokescreen str uh, strategy is where you side out a lot of cards in your main deck. Um, yeah. with your side deck and then you almost create a new deck so you're playing with two decks yeah. in one it is a very very yeah. cool amazing strategy 
can you just explain to us in a little bit more detail um, what cards you would take out of your main deck um, for your side deck to complete the smoke game? Um, usually I side out uh, 12 cards. Uh, yeah, 12 cards. 12 cards. That's- that's why, that's even why I put the the three last the, the three last cards, the three barrier on the you know right of the side deck. Yeah, the hollowed life barrier. The, yeah. The, 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 I, I side in the the first uh, twelve, so uh, I put uh, in uh, the dealing con duo, the yeah. two mobu, the three kiku, three mind control, one MST, uh, two swap. Yeah. Uh, I side out usually. Uh, three Ojama Trio, three Just Dessert, three Secret Barrel, uh, the last three uh, depends of uh, against who I am, you know? Yeah. Uh, really, um, 16, 16, 21. Uh, I end up with uh, 20 monsters, usually in the main, so usually I side out one Cypher Soldier. Yeah. Usually, as a tenth card, and uh, sometimes I, I'm signing out the two level limit too. Sometimes, okay. so I end up with uh, 20 monsters, uh, five traps, 15 spells. That's usually how I sided into the, the tournament, but. Uh, it's still possible to side in uh, different ways, but the biggest thing is when I side, uh, I smoke screen. The three Ojama, the three Desserts, the three Barrels are uh, pretty often out. Okay, okay, that's very, very clever, very, very cool strategy. I just wanted to um, say for a lot of new players that might be watching and wondering why Kale has an extra deck for all these fusion monsters that. He, it looks like he can't use. So uh, there are two reasons why players do this. Number one, um, if you're running a snatch deal, an opponent can play a cyber sign and you can steal their cyber sign and use the effect, um, allowing you to get these fusion monsters. I know that's very rare, but that's a reason. Also, another reason being is when you play online and an opponent sees that you have an extra deck, they may be thinking that you play uh, Go Control or um, um, Metamorphosis, something along those lines. So playing an extra deck allows your opponent not to know what information you have, and they, they it's a lot harder for them to understand what you're playing. It's a very basic strategy and something that you can do very easily. Um, I just want to do, end off by saying, Kale, thank you very much for letting me interview you and congratulations again on the tournament and if there any is there, if there's anyone that you want to shout out or thank uh, please feel free to do so uh, well I have to shout out uh, a lot of people so if I'm gonna probably forget uh, a lot of them uh, I would like to congratulate Ingozik because he was French too and uh, we were the only two French the, the two only French uh, player in the world and uh, we both do on uh, top 8 so going from 2 on, four, two on 56 from 2 on 8 then 2 on 6 because we were both in top 6 uh, it was pretty amazing uh, sh- I would like to shout out to uh, to Dean which was uh, the one who told me about, about Obelisk 2 so uh, if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be in the world uh, I say uh, hello to all the um, Pui, uh, Pui server because they have uh, a burn server so uh, uh, so same I say uh, hello to Widya to uh, to a lot of people to Fofo too because he's French he wasn't in the, the world uh, this year but uh, he's a very good French player he was in the world last year even if he didn't top so uh, that's it, and uh, I'm sorry for uh, the the one I forgot. <laughs> for all the people he forgot, I promise you, he still loves you, and yeah. he's sending his love. KL, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, hope to play you in the future, and best of luck on all future tournaments. Thank you. It uh, it was a pleasure to a pleasure to be uh, with you uh, too, and uh, I wish to everybody to have a great day. Perfect. Do it, 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 do it,